All right, you little shadow punk. Have some of that. Yeah, back up, back up. Oh, ahaha! I can actually kill you with that. And there was, yeah, in here. Oh, oh, yeah, this is not gonna work out well for me. Dang it. Okay. Don't get caught by the shadow kids. Note to self. Two at a time doesn't look like it's something that I'm gonna be able to do. Um... Okay, so I can kill them, though. There we go. So he kind of just spawned. There we go. Yeah. And I want to back away from them. Nice. Okay. So I cannot hold the flashlight and have this at the same time. So I obviously I'm going to want to drop, jump, lights on. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a little trip around, as a matter of fact. You stay there, Key. Wait, what are we shining on over here? My kid looked look very interested in this area. Why? Something over here, buddy? Not that I can see. Okay. Yeah, I just saw one run upstairs. Y'all saw that too. Okay. These are the lights that I remember that we could control. Get the key. These things weren't here with six, man. What are they? And we're just gonna run up here. And flashlight. Okay. We're fine so far. Let's come back this way. And no, it's not going to be this easy. For real? Alright. Let's get on here. Put it down. Flashlight on. Oh, I should probably pick that up actually, huh? Yep, I knew that was going to happen. It's okay, though. Confident there aren't any down there. Alright. I'm fairly certain this is going to be bright enough. Yeah, okay. Interesting, we made it. Didn't expect that. But now, I'm sure this place, yep. Go ahead and check down the hallway first. Yes, I see the bottle. As I said before, we're not gonna like proactively search for these because the game's mechanics are just, they get frustrating sometimes. And you know that they'll put collectibles in like the most hidden of places. And when it's in the most hidden of places, you know that it's going to be extra frustrating to be able to try and get that figured out. I saw you run back here. Where'd you go? Man. There we go. Nice. Nice. I actually feel like this is the first time I have a weapon to fight back with, and it makes me feel pretty confident, actually. Like, I actually really like it. 
Makes everything a little bit less scary. How many of them are there going to be? Do they just keep coming? Man, it seems like it so far. These guys want some. Can I move this chair? I can. Oh, will they stay out of this light? Looks like they will. Flashlight back on, all right. Be good thus far. There we go, yeah. Y'all thought you had me. Y'all thought you had me, but you didn't. Where'd you go? Did you die too? I don't know if you did. I don't trust you. Uh, here's one of you around the corner. Okay, I almost fell off the edge there. <laughs> Oh, snuck up on me. These guys are tricksy. Tricksy. I can fight back. I gotcha. All right. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Yep, there's one of you. And there's another one. Nice. I know you guys aren't against getting me from behind. Don't attack me from over here before. No? Nothing, huh? How about just you then? There we go. There are two of you right here, all right. I like when you guys group together like that. But, oh, ladder. All right, we're in a lit room here. I feel safe-ish. Safe as I can feel. Um, can I open this door? I cannot. Ah, I see. Oh, you better believe these get, things are going to be attacking. That's a long drop. Let's not do that this time. Dang it. Okay. I will not mention the depth reception again. He said ironically. This must be what it's like to be Leela from Futurama. No depth perception. All right. We're going to go nice and slow. Even though you know they're going to attack me on this thing. They aren't. Oh, how kind. I did not expect that kindness. Okay. Yep, there was one. And there's another. And another behind me, even. fall before you can jump on me. You go down. Alright, I saw another one y'all over here. I know I did. Where'd you go? You ran. That was smart of you. I'm dropping you fools like flies. That's right. I'm on to you. You and your masks? What are you? My guess is these things are like the angry spirits of children that the geisha has killed. The matron. Okay. 
Appealing say Ooh, long stairway. Okay. Feeling safe. Nice. Nope. No. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. I just got to be ready to R2, R2. Drop hit circle. Oh, don't hit circle now. Turn the flashlight on. Practicing was, that was not the right time to practice. Come on. Yep. There are more of you. I know there are. Where are you? Come on, come on, wherever you are. Not right now? Okay, not right now. Okay. There goes nothing. And... Drop hit circle. No, oh, man. He was on me right away. Dang. Okay. I got the drop hit circle. I just got to aim right afterward. Got to see those guys a little bit earlier. The moment I see movement, I got to stop. Okay. One right there. I'll have a buddy that comes out. Yep. And then I think that's it at first. Now one more. One more. Okay. And then the moment I see movement there. Come on. Get it. Get it. More movement. More movement anywhere. Yep. I knew he was going to get me, dang it. Ah, oh, that other dude was creeping up behind me, though. Alright. You guys will see when I succeed this next time. This will be right here. This is my success. Oh. That was close. My thumb's all sweaty. Hang on, let me... This is me rubbing my joystick, drying it off. Alright. Get some better grip here. Okay. First sign of movement. There it is. Okay, go get it. First sign of movement. There it is. Nice. Okay. Come on. We almost got this. We almost got this. We got this. Go, 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 go. Just go, forget those dudes, just go! Oh, nice. Alright, we got it. Now we're in here. I don't know what in here is, but we're here. Yeah, I knew that was gonna make noise. Okay, this has got a break, right? There, it broke. And then I gotta pick up the flower. A book. Flower? Nope, I just broke that for no reason. <laughs> okay. Oh. Interesting. Now how the crap do I get this out of here? Okay, I'm going to put you down for a sec. Yeah, I'm not getting out that way. Over here. Looks like I'm getting out that way just as 
unlikely. <laughs> so what about in the background here? Nope, no climbing. Hmm. No. What if I'm just carrying this over here? You can open the door for me. You are not. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I know that painting. Hmm. I mean, I feel like this has got to be the answer, right? No. Forget it's somewhere here. Oh, what the? That was it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, maybe not the answer, but an answer. Not the answer I wanted, dang it. Yep, that does me no good. Nothing. It was this book. Broke the flowers already. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. What if I... Oh, there we go. Tried the first one, didn't try that one. There we go, got it. Oh, and it brings us into this room. I see. Oh, I don't like this. There are going to be more phantoms in here. More shy guys. I have every intention of just running right now. Lights are off again. More shy guys, where are you? No, no more shy guys, all right. Okay. There we go. Okay. What does this do for us? Oh, we're in the room. It's like the matron's back room. I feel like this is where six five oh my gosh that terrified me that stupid freaking statue there she is it's her for sure she's actually looking at her own face can we see it is it just old is that the problem I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Don't know what just happened. But me no likey. No, oh, me no likey at all. Oh, the room just got all cold. Let me see my breath. She like popped oh yep there she is why I already went through this with six why are we doing this again 
You know she's going to come up behind me here. Uh... Fox and I have talked about the struggle of like when there's a prequel you know that the heroes in it aren't going to die because there are other things there the struggle here is that I know for sure the villain won't die here because <laughs> I know six is the one that beats her oh she's gonna be right out the door they brought me in here for a reason this is fake, right? Yes. She's right here. I know she is. Ugh, I gotta walk back. Oh, no. The door's open this time. Hmm. Yeah, gee, that's not framed for any reason there. Here she comes. I, uh... Is that it? Oh, did she turn me into a gnome? She did. Interesting. I'm a gnome now. Oh, I can't go that way. There's no light. Oh, am I the one that six is going to eat? Is six going to eat me? She is, isn't she? Dang it. Mm, I can already see this coming. <laughs> We. Yep, there are the gluttons. Disgusting gluttons. I wonder if they want to eat a gnome like they want to eat a child. Okay, we're actually going to call this an episode here. I don't know how much of the game is left. I'm going to assume it's enough for another episode. Okay, I don't know how much of the game is left, but. Let's see, uh, if you guys remember last time, we were getting around the matron, uh, the geisha, and, uh, we saw her face, and it was, like, old, and when we saw, or when she saw that we saw, it, like, bloated and grew, and then she, like, exploded, but then she recoalesced, I guess, and bottom line is, in our effort to escape, she caught us. Can I climb as a gnome? I'm guessing I cannot. But I'm, oh, I bet you this is a scene from Little Nightmares that I just don't remember the, the, the game proper. Yep. Mm. Six is going to eat us. I can t Oh, yep. Here's the sausage that we're going to offer her. Mm, I can tell. I can just know it. Where is she? How do we... Where do we go from here? Can I pick up a sausage? I can't pick up a sausage. Oh, is that a crack on the wall? There we go. Yep. Yep. Oh, no. We are the ones that six eats. Are they actually going to show her come in? Or are we just going to let assume? Be allowed to assume? Mmm. Now we're just going to be allowed to assume, yep. So if you guys don't remember the scene from Little Nightmares, 
Six has like this overwhelming hunger. And uh, at one point, she collapses. We'll meet again. At one point, she collapses. And we go, like a gnome comes out and hands her a sausage and sets it down. And she reaches for the sausage and then grabs the gnome and eats the gnome. And it's one of the reasons, like, p part of, like, one of Six's flaws, like, one of her uh, struggles in the game is that she just becomes hungry at, at scripted moments in the game. And she has a lot of struggle, like, walking or whatnot. And so that's why my headcanon of it is that she is some sort of, like, demon or goddess of hunger. Some sort of evil being. And uh, this whole, the Ma itself is, like, a shrine to keep her sated. But she escapes eventually and at the end of the game end of little nightmares she just murders everybody but uh at one point oh yeah like i said a gnome offers her a sausage and then she eats the gnome well it looks like we are that gnome okay oh more stuff going on here what was that Okay. Okay. I think we played through all of the DLC. Let's double check here. So yeah, it looks like the power of the matron, of the geisha, whatever you call her, uh, looks like her power is to turn people, to turn children into gnomes. And I guess at that point they're servants. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep, we did this. Yep, that's all three parts. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, um, the, again, it's very Burton-esque in as much as uh, Tim Burton movies are dark but playful. They're a little bit unsettling and creepy, but there's a heart behind them, like a childish heart behind them. Um, you know, um, The Night Before Christmas, Edward Scissorhands, um, the Batman movies, even uh, the, the the first original two uh, with Michael Keaton, there's it's, they're dark, but they're they're funny and they're silly and they're all campy and wear themselves. And I love them; they're great, they're wonderful. But at the same time, some people could just arguably say there are some pretty key things that movies need that make these not as great, and that's why. Tim Burton fandom, which I am a huge fan of Tim Burton, uh, they're considered a lot of cult classics. Tim Burton makes a lot of cult classics. Uh, again, I am a cult fan. I love Tim Burton things. Uh, this game reminded me of Tim Burton a lot in as much as it was dark and it was creepy and uh, it really hit those notes of like innocence with still being eerie and childlike but also terrifying and it was really, really cool. I love the theme of this game. I love just kind of the the atmosphere uh, that is, is put out. But guys, the game doesn't communicate to you clearly enough. There are such small, small things that would make life so much easier. And then second of all, the depth perception. If you're gonna have a platformer like this game, you need to have depth perception. And that was a big struggle with the game proper and the DLC. But at the end of the day, I love it. And as with any game that has any sort of horror in it, you don't get the fullness of it unless you're playing it yourself. So play Little Nightmares, play the DLC. Um, I think in total it was $40 for the game proper and then $10 for the DLC. I, it is well worth $40 for the entire game. Even with its flaws, it's worth 40 bucks because most games these days are 60. So a lot of fun, play Little Nightmares. I give it a solid seven out of 10. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I don't know what we'll be playing next. We'll see you next time. Bye.